Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. It is the final time you're ever going to see this clan battle commence. It is the Gaming Weekly versus the Renegades. And ladies and gentlemen, this is it. The Gaming Weekly won once. The Renegades won once. It looks like now tonight it is the rubber match between two clans who have so much on the line, but so much disdain towards each other as well. Hey, everybody, welcome to Game Side. I'm Adrian Matt, joined by now Bland Taste joining us here tonight. Welcome. Yeah, thank you for the introductions. And I think tonight we're going to see a very interesting matchup between these two clans. I mean, like you said, they both won once, so it's really winner takes all here. You, there's no there's no really getting out of it. If you lose, that's it. You're done. And I really have faith in TGW because TGW has been around for way longer than Renegades. And yeah, TGW is just a better clan in my opinion. So obviously the Renegades over the past couple of weeks, they've been very, very confident. They said that they were going to knock down the Gaming Weekly. Could it be here tonight that they're going to, well, put that into fruition? We're going to find out in just matter of moments here, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be a very intense clan battle. That is for sure the final clan battle here tonight. So it's BOB. Who my son? Who Cronus? Representative of the Renegades. Waters, GX, and HV Echo, the champion, representing the Gaming Weekly. Well, Adrian, I want to bring up one competitor on the TGW team, and his name is Waters. I mean, as we saw yesterday, unfortunately I wasn't able to make it to the stream, but as we saw yesterday, Waters is the number one contendership to take the championship in TGW, and I think we saw amazing play from him yesterday, so I think we're glad to have him on the TGW clan, and I think we're going to see great stuff from him tonight. Well, it's going to be interesting to economy due to the fact that it's Echo and Waters next week going to go at it against each other. But tonight they're on the same team as GX just knocked down B.O.B. B.O.B. is down. The Gaming Weekly already early going to this matchup has the advantage. And now the Gaming Weekly looking to finally dust off the Renegades because the Renegades has been in the thorn of TGW's side over the past couple of months. Who am I, son, though? Coming in out of nowhere, shooting down HV Echo, who has been eliminated now. Waters, who just knocked down Sun. Waters is now rolling here tonight. It is 1v1. Oh my god, it's who Cronus versus Waters, but Bland, look, Cronus has literally no life left. He's about to be eliminated. Waters has an open shot, perhaps. I think it's safe to say who who we know is gonna win. It's a uh oh, wait a minute. You can actually see the fire that is spreading, and you know what? How apropos to to see the fire there, because you can only imagine the amount of fire, the amount of intensity that is indeed spreading in the minds of the TGW members and the Renegades. So much on the line here tonight, folks. It is about bragging rights to prove who is the better, well, clan, community, whatever you want to call it. Who is the better community? Which community is going to stand out? We're going to find out here tonight. And now we're joined by Pix, who's now joining us live right now. Pix, this is now an interesting predicament. We're at a one-on-one. -on -one. Waters versus Hucronus, which... Waters has the advantage because Cronus literally has no life. Both <laughs> figuratively mean, and literally, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. You're All right, but go ahead. Yes. Cronus really doesn't have a life. I mean, he, him saying all this stuff, and I mean... That's oh, well, that's it, though. Waters got the victory over Cronus. Can the Gaming Weekly retaliate as we take a look at the replay? Take a look. What a shot there. The number one contender, Waters, with an impressive shot. The Renegades went out the first round, though, but there are so many different rounds throughout the community, guys. The Renegades can bounce back at any given time. They well, can, Adrian, they as can... I do say a lot, I mean, it's really about who gets the ball rolling first. It's really who can get the, who can get their confidence up first, because that is really a huge part in who's going to win the matchup. Because if you can get your, if you can get the first win, then your opponent's confidence starts to go down and your confidence starts to go up. So it's really who can get the ball rolling first per se. Picks, what do you have to say? I mean, what I got to say here is, like like you said, one opponent on the Renegades could do really bad, and one opponent on the Renegades can do really good. I mean, you just got to see. You really don't know. Players play differently, like we were talking about yesterday. Adrian, I mean, you just, it's so unpredictable in this moment in time. I mean, the pressure you face. I mean, seriously, get ready to witness the clash of warriors at these two clans. Lock horns tonight to finally determine which clan, which community is better? Who, my son, being the leader of the Renegades, and of course, HV Echo being the champion, he is the leader of the Gaming Weekly. You gotta believe that HV Echo was very proud of what Waters was able to implement moments ago, considering that it was Waters who knocked down Cronus moments ago. But the sides have been flipped now. Here we go, matchup underway. We're gonna find out exactly what's gonna be taking place this coming round. We're gonna find out in just a matter of moments whether or not if the Renegades are gonna bounce back, guys. Well, I wanna elaborate on something Pig said about pressure because this is really the most pressure you can get because if you lose you're out there's no coming back really if who, whatever clan wins tonight wins it all really like you like adrian said at the beginning of the broadcast cgw won one renegades won one and whoever wins tonight winner takes all there's no no excuses 
So you gotta imagine the pressure that these players face. Fix. Yeah, I mean, you're right. There's no excuses. I mean, Renegade and TW, we both we both been talking trash to each other. And I mean, that just goes on and on. But I think tonight really shows who is the better clan, the true colors of each clan and seeing how we can do together. Well, Waters just knocked down Cronus again. Lightning striking twice. You can feel the anticipation building as the tension out may be reaching to its peak. And Waters out of nowhere knocked down the leader of the Renegades. Who, my son, is down. And now it's B.O.B. Who's alone in the Renegades. And you know what? The Renegades have been talking trash about the Gaming Weekly over the past couple of weeks. Well, tonight, they have no recourse but to face the music. Tonight, they're facing the Gaming Weekly stronger than ever before. And they're going to eat their own words. Well, like I said in the beginning of the broadcast, we saw Waters yesterday take the number one contendership, and we saw him. amazing play from him. And I think we're really, really, that's coming to fruition as Waters is really dominating this matchup so far. Are I we mean, you're right, Adrian. The omen of TGW winning picks. What do I think about the omen of TGW winning? I feel like we're doing really good right now. Like I said, say, we truly have a chance. I mean, we're just, we're just getting there. I don't feel like we're getting, we're getting uh, to renegades at their bad side. We're getting them right there, and they're. Bad side because they don't have all their teammates and they're kind of you know conjumbled and miscombobulated and just not you know together as they always will and I think we're better playing in these smaller groups. Well, you know what? It's all about the well, really strategy and valor when it comes to this. Not only do you need the confidence and that bravado, but also you have to plan out to make sure that you're going to win. And thus far, the Renegades, for the first time really, are on their knees at this point in time. And Waters has been doing tremendous. Again, he is the number one contender. Let's not forget, Waters did say in the previous stream that he believes he can knock down the champion Echo. So a lot of confidence building for Waters. But tonight, Echo and Waters are on the same page. GX, of course, as well. It is, well, the Gaming Weekly's time, they're gaining that confidence. That confidence that they lost in, well, the previous clan battles. Well, like Pix was saying earlier, TGW is more is a more tight-knit community. I mean, Renegades, we've seen players on the Renegades come and go. They don't really, like, have a consistent player base. So, But the TGW, they, we've seen players come and go. But overall, we've kept a consistent player base that can band together through tough times and hopefully get the win tonight. Well, as the Clash ensues here tonight, there you see already GX. Let's try to knock down a Renegade member in the uh, distance. We're going to go ahead and spectate the champion, HV Echo, who's looking on at this juncture in time as well. I'm going to go ahead and spectate B.O.B., who's one of the uh, Renegade members as well. One thing about B.O.B., oh, wait just a second, though, who my son has been eliminated by GX, a newly TGW member, I guess, joining us tonight. But I was going to go back to B.O.B. You know, B.O.B., he, he has so much passion behind the scenes. I've noticed he really wants to win here tonight. I think out of all three gentlemen who are represented the Renegades, it's B.O.B. who really does not want to, uh, and Cronus just knocked down Waters, but it's B.O.B. who does not want to let his own team down. So B.O.B. really is going to be fierce, but he's also going to be focused. But Waters has been eliminated, the Dark Horse, in the Gaming Weekly, and B.O.B. now, very slick, just knocked down GX, guys. Blaine, I got to ask you, if you're HV Echo the champion, what would you want to do to make sure that you bounce back since you're the only one in the team? Well, I mean, we've seen Echo in the past on TGW, and he's a really, really good competitor. So I do think Echo does have a chance here. But if you're really him, you got to really buckle down and really focus on your strategies because to win, to come out of this with a win is very, very skillful to do. And I mean, Waters is probably the best competitor we've seen on TGW so far. He got knocked out, so definitely uh, Valiant effort from Echo, though, you saw. Of course. You saw how the Renegade member was attacking yeah. Echo. Echo, though, from behind, though. Cronus was able to knock him down. Echo got knocked down by Cronus. Picks your thoughts on this. I mean, like you were saying, I mean, when when the champion's under this much pressure, I mean, he's faced pressure before, but when he's under a 2v1 against the Renegades, a clan that is, you know, all right at Rainbow, it's going to be hard. And, you know, they just got biased this time, but I feel like we're going to be stronger in these later rounds, and we're going to be smarter. Uh, Adrian, let me say something you were going off of when you were saying stuff about Bob. Yes, I feel like Bob, yesterday, he took that defeat. He could have gone against Echo the Champion. He lost to... Uh, Waters in a close one. He did. We saw that. And we, he can bounce back from these, and maybe we can see him going against the champion. We just don't know. Anything can happen here tonight. Yeah, of course. I mean, if you're Bob, you really, <clears throat> you're a new competitor in DGW, and you want to take the championship from whoever it's going to be. I mean, next week we'll see a championship match between Waters and Echo, but nonetheless, like Adrian was saying, I mean, Echo, very amazing competitor. They're not able to get it, though. I mean, you got to remember, TJW is still in a one-point surplus against the Renegades. So we do still have the we do still have the confidence on our side, and I do think TJW will come out with a win, Adrian. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just joining us live on Twitch, it is the final 
clan battle that is taking place between the Renegades and the Gaming Weekly. In this awe-inspiring spectacle, we can witness two clans really going back and forth. And again, the Gaming Weekly has been in control, but the Renegades still showing something. They could get back into this matchup at any given time, that's for sure. The Renegades are just jackals. They're sneaky. They can really, really uh, pull a rabbit out of their hat. Pix, you were going to say something? Uh, yeah, Adrian. I mean, we 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 keep forgetting some. We we forget that we are tied with the Renegades in clan battles. First one they won by you know supposedly cheating. Second one we won by disqualification to them you know saying slurs. And this is the the last battle. So this truly shows who's the better clan here tonight, Blant. Yeah, I mean, I completely agree. It's winner takes all. There's no excuses if you lose because, like I said earlier in the broadcast, you've really got to imagine the pressure on these players because their clan is counting on them. I mean, TGW, all the members are watching right now, really hoping that TGW pulls through and does defeat the Renegades in this long, in this long going battle between the two clans. I mean, you're not wrong there, Bland. Uh, Adrian, I want I want to ask you a question. I ask I ask you. I asked you this a while back, but do you feel like who's my son? Do you feel like he's dragging his team down, the Renegades down a little bit? Because he just keeps well, dying the first time. Well, I'll, I'll get to that in just a second. Developing story, it is one-on-one -on -one now. It's Echo versus B.O.B. -B. I was going to mention that, though. And you're right. Who my son? He has a lot of pressure. He is leading the Renegades. We know that for a fact. The Renegades are very, very, uh, well, they're, they're, they're ferocious. They're a team that they have so much pride and dignity. And for who my son, he may be feeling that he's a... Uh, Maybe he, maybe he is feeling that, Pix. You're right. Maybe he's feeling that he's letting well his own team down. I mean, he continues to get eliminated, but it's B.O.B. last man standing right now, but also the champion Echo. As I'm spectating right now, as we speak, Echo and also B.O.B. And one thing about B.O.B., as we mentioned before, very resilient. Out of all the three gentlemen completing, or at least competing in the Renegades, it is B.O.B. who has probably the most passion, but still no, uh, no well, discrediting to who my son and who Cronus. Well, I mean, we see Echo here has a health advantage over B.O.B., so I do think Echo does, will get the win here well, no matter To your what point. Happens, there we go. Great sequence. As HV Echo capitalized on the I moment. Mean... B.O.B. had very to little health, and uh, yeah, Echo was able to win. Go ahead, Pix. We see this from B.O.B. a lot. I mean, as that kill happened. Uh, we see this Oops. from B.O.B. a lot. B.O.B., he likes to hide when he's under pressure and when he's low on health. We saw that... I know, Blade, you were here for this, but we saw it yesterday when, you know, everything went down. B.O.B. was, when he was down, he was always hot and getting those kills. He's really good at that. That's what he's really smart at, but he lacks in rushing in because we see when that happens, Bland and Adrian, when that happens, he does not do well. So I feel like oh, if he's true. fixed by his tactics, he could maybe pull his team out with the win. Hey, just so you know. Also, the Gaming Weekly is winning because of me, too. But I also wanted to mention this. Oh. That when it comes to this clan battle, well, it's true. I mean, I was supporting yeah. the Gaming Weekly since day one. I really, I think it was you guys that was supporting the Renegades. That's what you guys were doing. But I was supporting <laughs> you you would be Team happy TGW. No, I said that I was going to be supporting Team TGW tonight. I've been supporting them. I told you I was going to be right in this. The Gaming Weekly obviously gaining the, the, the advantage here tonight. But this is now match point. In all seriousness, this is match point. It is now the time well, for the Gaming Weekly to shut the Renegades up if they're able to win this round. Well, I do want to say one thing. This is truly amazing because we're seeing TGW. We're, we're winning by two points. I mean, I don't want to, I, don't wanna, uh, I guess, clown on Jesus. TGW at all, but like TGW is an amazing community. But for them to get this lead over Renegades, I don't think this has really happened at all. And it's amazing to see because I've been with TGW to That's day because one. the Renegades last time are a bunch of no lives. That's what they recruited. <laughs> a bunch of no lives who play Rainbow Six Siege day in, day out. They literally have been living and breathing R6. It, now we have casual members from both of these teams. Adrian, to be honest, we're just watching the Renegades downfall here and here and here. They're going to fall. I'm sorry. I mean, the only people that's been really staying with it is Who's My Son and Strong Bob. We can't be seeing these guys in other, you know, matches or anything. But they just keep grabbing people off of group posts, well, which B. makes them that he still has. Well, the thing is, B.O.B. is still saying that he has a lot left, though. But GX just knocked down B.O.B. back down all one-on-one. -on -one. But who Cronus got him? Who Cronus was able to get? GX. Take a look at the replay. Cronus entering into the room. Saw the opponent right there, shot him down, a couple of different shots, was celebrating afterwards. Well, you know what? The Renegades, I guess, one point. Sure, okay. Once again, they got another point. But the Gaming Weekly still has the advantage, considering the fact that they're at three. The Renegades are still losing at this point in time. You know, one thing about the Renegades, though, I'll give them credit. Valiant, 
a valiant clan, a valiant effort here tonight. But you know what? I think now's the time they meet their maker, that being the Gaming Weekly. But are we seeing the dissection of the Renegades here tonight? Are we seeing perhaps the destruction, the collapse of the Renegades? Because if the Renegades lose, you best believe the Renegades will not be around. But the Gaming yeah, Weekly just... needs one more point to win. I mean, you're I, right. This is a really amazing that question. to see. This is really amazing to see, Adrian. Like, the renegade, the renegades were really, like you said, they live and breathe Rainbow Six Siege. So for TJW to really come out on top and show them that they're the better clan, it's really just amazing to see, and it almost brings a tear to my eye because I've been saying since the first clan battle that TGW is the objectively better clan. It can, it can band oh, together. You know I've been saying times. that too, so I should take the credit, by the way. But this is it. This is the last round. This it has to be the last round. And oh, out of nowhere though. Waters got eliminated. Waters is out of here. And now B.O.B. just knocked out GX. You gotta be kidding me. Three on one situation. HV Echo perhaps maybe doesn't have a chance. Oh, come on. The no, Gaming it's... Weekly is gonna get screwed over again. I mean... I believe in I Echo. Don't know. I believe in Echo. I mean, he is the champion in the furl, so... Come on, really Echo. Anything, come on, isn't? Echo. Come on, Echo. Tap out Renegades. Tap out Renegades. Come on. And HV Echo. Oh, Echo no. B.O.B. just he knocked out Echo. You gotta be good. kidding me. This is absolutely horrible to watch. I mean, Echo, oh my goodness, dude. That was that was really an unwinnable situation from Echo, and I mean, I, I give him the props for still trying, but like, I think TGW has to band together and make sure that doesn't happen again, because oh that God. is like, unwinnable from Echo. Well, well the thing is, I'm standing. I am literally standing. I rarely stand out of my chair, but tonight, I'm standing because I cannot believe that we reached to this juncture. It is three points apiece. The Gaming Weekly at three. The Renegades at three. Whoever gets the next round victory will win the entire clan battle. I'm hoping the Gaming Weekly can indeed dissect the Renegades after everything they've been saying over the past couple of months. The Renegades have been talking trash at TGW. Well, again, tonight, the Gaming Weekly should take it to the Renegades. Could be the entire series, the basically the NBA Finals, Adrian, I know you don't like sports. The NBA Finals of this, the whole series against this clan. The, probably the biggest drama TGW's we've had in the is better clan, than Adrian. the NBA. <laughs> this is probably the biggest drama we've had. You don't get to see this type of action in the NBA, by the way. We don't, but... Oh my god. I'm telling you, folks, there is so much suspense. There are so many butterflies beginning to build. So much anticipation on the line here tonight for Waters, GX, and HV Echo. Tonight is the night that they have to prove they can top the Renegades. It is action phase. Here we go. Matchup taking place. We're going to find out exactly what's going to happen. The month, I mean, month, seriously, month the suspense in here is crazy. I mean, TGW and Renegades have been going at it for so long, and this is really, if you win this, you win. This match decides everything. Who will win the clan battle between the TGW and Renegades? I see chat going crazy right now. It's it's literally the craziest time. I mean, it's it's the end. It's the end of everything. We have to win this to show that we are the better clan. We can play in a game that we're not necessarily good at. I mean, we we really haven't done well in the two clan battles. We won the second one by disqualification, like Adrian said. But and, and, this is our time to win. To and, and notice this, though. Crown ourselves as the better clan. Picks. One thing that I've noticed, though, when it comes to this matchup here, in the final round, both of these clans are taking their time. They're not going to rush it because if they rush it, they understand they can make a mistake for their entire clan. That's what uh -huh. can happen here. And that's why Waters, GX, and HV Echo... Oh, you got to be kidding me! Watch out! Waters getting shot down. Oh, my God, you got to be kidding... No! No, please no. Please no. Please no. Please no. Please no. Wait, wait. we got to have faith in GX and Echo, though. GX and Echo are good players. we got to have faith in their major. Of course Keep they hoping. are. Oh, who my son, though, is losing some life as well. And B.O.B. too. Come on. Come on. Who my son may be seeing the ending. The Renegades may be seeing the ending here tonight. And how apropos. For months and months and months, the Renegades said that they were going to defeat the Gaming Weekly. The Renegades They've been saying it. watching it here tonight, guys. Well, you know what? Tonight, they're going to eat their own words. That's for sure. They are eating. Well, what an incredible matchup. You can cut the suspense in here with a knife. It's so, it's like insane. It's crazy. It's palpable. And Cronus getting attacked from the Gaming Weekly. But it looks like if we're comparing the lives, the Renegades slightly have less life compared to the Gaming Weekly. But again, that doesn't really determine anything just yet. And there's so much smoke now. You gotta watch out. And GX just knocked out Sun. The leader just went down and out. Take it now. Come on, TJW. Take the victory. Take the victory. Take the victory. TJW don't win it. Oh, B.O.B. just knocked out GX, though. I mean, I don't know. I mean, we've seen competitive against anyone. Everything has been competitive here. Oh, I my mean, God. It's just crazy to see, Adrian. Cronus is down. Cronus is down. Get out of here, Renegades. Get out of here, Renegades. B.O.B. is the last one standing. But guess what? For B.O.B., he has a lot of pressure. He just knocked out Waters. Oh, my God. It is Echo versus B.O.B.
Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. This one decides on it all. Decides everything. Wait, does? Folks, I mean, I'm... Guys, I'm, I'm, I'm literally shaken. I'm literally shaken. I know, I am me too, Adrian. This is point in time. the most crazy match I've ever commentated. I mean, TGW's been some, seen some close crazy combat, but this, here. You guys are this is insane. This is the moment in TGW history, right here. And look at B.O.B., though. B.O.B. was using the, uh... Yeah, he was using the... So he was using the drone at this juncture, and he saw Echo for a moment. B.O.B. perhaps maybe has a calculated plan in his mind. He's continuing his hunt like the predator that he is to hunt down the prey. But Echo, though, must have all the resilience. He must have the intensity of fortitude. He must have the faith in him. He, for the name of the Gaming Weekly, he has to win it tonight. He has to, Adrian. I mean... Oh my oh, god. He did it! He did it! He did it! Echo did it! Echo did it! Renegades, oh, you're out of here! Renegades, Echo's you're out of here! TJW did it! it. TJW did it! We did the it! The Gaming Weekly proving again tonight why they're the greatest community of all time! This is. Oh my god. We did it! We won the clan series! TJW does this. it! I can't believe it. I've been t I've been saying since day one, TGW is the objective of the better clan, and for it, and for it to finally come to fruition, and like for Echo to finally clutch it up, and wow, I mean Echo has, Echo already has a reputation here in TGW, and for him to do this, it really boosts his reputation so much. For the past month, to TGW. for the love. past month, the Renegades have been talking trash to TGW. For the past month, they were mocking. They were saying they were the better clan and community. Well, tonight, they ate their own words. The Gaming Weekly is indeed the one standing. This is... Dude, this is such a big moment. You guys are watching one of the biggest moments here in TGW history. We beat the Renegades, probably the most controversial clan here in TGW, and it's just crazy that we've done it. I mean, I can't... <laughs> Echo, Echo the hero, as we should call him now, because he pulled out the win, Blan. Yeah, I mean, like I said earlier in the broadcast, or not earlier, but just a couple moments ago, Echo really has a reputation here in TGW, and Echo now is going to be known as the one who won the clan battle for TGW and finally proving the renegades and shutting them up that we are the better clan. This is amazing to watch, guys. I can't, I actually Oh, can't you know what? It. I'm not one to take credit, but, you know, I should also take some credit when it comes to the Gaming Weekly Victory. We're joined by Who My Son, and Who My Son, welcome to the broadcast. I'm not sure if you're going to be talking or not, but what happened? You were saying that you were going to defeat TGW. You were saying that you guys were going to have us once again tonight. What happened? You guys lost. Uh-huh. Okay. I, I understand why you think that. Now, our, <laughs> oh, our defense to this, our defense, I'm not going to make it as an excuse. Where's the rule swap in all of this? Oh when does it go God. attacker defender attacker defender? Oh, oh come on, who cares? Bro. It doesn't matter. TJW it does. did it. No, no, no. TJW no, no. did matter. it. And Echo proving to you, Echo proved it to everyone, not just you, uh -huh. but to everyone, that he will be fighting until the very end. Defense. He is a gladiator, and he will continue. I Ladies and gentlemen, we take defense. There's no rematch. It's over. The final claim battle takes place it's tonight. End. We won it, guys. You're here for we won. That's unfair. This is over. No more rematches. No nothing. We have won it. You had an unfair We have advantage. won the clan battle here tonight. Well, we said it, Ladies we said and it gentlemen. in the beginning of the broadcast to my son. There, winner takes all. There is no advantages. And <laughs> we said so it in the beginning of the broadcast. Advantage. What? We did not. We, TGW, winner takes all. That's it. You did. You can keep making you excuses, but we won. <laughs> TGW you know you throughout did. the years has had many clan battles. And like I said, since day... One. It has never been like that. TGW, Where's the six rounds? TGW has well, no, been no, 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 no. Blank, blank. Band Bottom line is, it doesn't matter which setting battles. it was. Bottom line is, what? TGW did better. It's based on skills. It doesn't matter about the game type. It doesn't matter the about the map. It matters about the skill. And the bottom line is, Echo, GX, and Waters are better. Mm -hmm. Well, sure. in our defense, we are more skilled on defense than we are on offense. Yeah. It was best out of seven. Oh my god. Yeah. Renegades best always seven. throwing controversy, guys. I mean, man, we've seen this happen all the time. And we've played three matches of this. Oh my god. Slammed us? You wouldn't wham, say slammed wham, us? Wham. Keep making your excuses, guys. Winner takes all TGW Winner wins. Winner takes Keep all. Get out of your playing. attention, please. I received a message from the anonymous executive, by the way. I received a message from the anonymous executive, the man who does run TGW, at least at this point in time, by the way. 
And I quote, Congratulations to TGW. I told you guys that you guys needed to win. You guys officially did it. And I understand the Renegades are wanting a rematch. However, a deal's a deal. This is the third and final round. The Gaming Weekly officially wins the clan war. You know what, guys? The dust has settled. TGW is standing tall. Well, you know what, B.O.B., you should not be, you know, you shouldn't, B.O.B., B.O.B., you shouldn't be complaining. You know why? Because you're now in the Gaming Weekly too, right? Everyone's going to be joined at the Gaming Weekly. That's what it is. TGW is that good. The Gaming Weekly is going to be joined by everyone. That's why. Like we said in the beginning of the broadcast, I'll say this again. Winner, it was winner takes all. Takes Here tonight. all. <laughs> that is it. Hey, you guys had an unfair advantage. The first two or three. You guys were depressed. <laughs> Didn't matter. They won. TGW won. Yeah, I man. knew it. 